I don't know how you can see these views and not fall in love with the city. This is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently called Germany our home. In our latest video, we spent four hours stranded on the side of the road in the Czech Republic, waiting for help to come. Did the infamous Martin cause the breakdown of our car or was it something else? No luck because people are either saying they don't speak English or they really don't. Die Straße 118 und Eventually, we made it to Prague and explored the beautiful streets for the next few days. In this video, we give our first impressions and show you some of the top things to do and see in this incredible city of Prague. It's a beautiful sunny day and honestly, we're quite surprised we have yet to come to Prague and spend more than just a couple hours, whether it's at the airport or whatever, because this is like the largest city we live close to after Munich. And we've heard incredible things about this place, just the culture, the food, the sights. Let's get to it. We're starting out our day here in Prague at its most iconic bridge. This is Charles Bridge. It's the most famous thing here to do in Prague. It's by far the most crowded place that we've ever been to since living here in Germany. It's exciting, but also we're kind of wishing it wasn't quite so busy. It's even hard to just navigate our way here on the bridge. We're passing through people. There's a lot of touristy type things. You can hear the music playing, which I think is really fun. But then there's also a lot of places to get like silhouette drawings, character drawings of yourself. It's kind of fun, but a bit touristy. So this bridge is a pedestrian only bridge, which is really nice. There's a lot of statues here and it offers incredible views of the city. So right here in front of me, I have a beautiful view of the Prague Castle. And then behind me, you can see the tower of the start of the bridge. There's a lot of bridges here in Prague. So you can see all of the different ones connecting this side of the city to the other side. We've also seen a lot of boats. I'm offering a cruise with a mill and then others where you can sit and paddle and just drink a beer and enjoy. <laughs> so hard you just gotta listen to your own heart settle down and let it go settle down and let it go oh oh tell me something have you wanted to be someone else then tell me what you waiting for Here you can see that I've made it to the Prague Castle. I left Tanner and Willa for a quick second to go in here. They needed to find a bathroom. Life with the toddler, you know? Plus, not to mention, there were a lot of stairs to get up to this place based on the way that we went. I know that you could've went a longer distance to get up here. We opted out of that and Tanner took on dad duties while I get to explore this beauty, which is really incredible. You have to go through a little gate and a security check, but once you get in here, you can go in the courtyard, you can go inside of the castle, also just walk around the outside. There's a lot of different buildings. There's an info center as well to help answer all of the questions you have. I know that there's like audio guides and I'm sure they're in many different languages. While we were walking on the Charles Bridge, we legit heard like six different languages all within a minute. It was really fun. There was Spanish, German, French, English, Czech. It was really cool to see. So you can just tell we're in one of the most popular cities here in Europe. And this castle is one that you're going to want to hit. Yeah, how you feel about it? No, it can be hard to wrap your head around it. Settle down and let it go. Settle down and let it go. Oh, oh. When everybody else tries so hard, you just gotta listen to your own heart. Settle down and let it go. Settle down and let it go. Oh, oh. Tell me something. Have you wanted to be someone else? Then tell me what you're waiting for. 
Well, I feel really bad that Tanner and Willow are down there waiting. I called them to make sure that they're all good. I said, this is the place you're gonna wanna come up and see. The views of this city are incredible. And there are so many places along this courtyard, along this garden area to just stop and experience this breathtaking view. I'm blown away. Wow. You're like summer in the shade, like a sip of lemonade. And I love the taste, oh I love the taste. You're the only song but sing like a lullaby of spring in the morning rain. I don't know how you can see these views and not fall in love with the city. I'm sold. Hi baby. How are you? Hi, mommy. Yes, I'm here now. Hi, mommy. You missed out big time. I'm sure. You missed out. We had lots of fun. What did you guys do? What did you do? We did a handshake and we walked around. Ooh. That's about it. <laughs> you didn't miss out. I missed you! <laughs> yes, I did! Okay, let's move over here then. Take a look. You're just going straight for it. We couldn't wait any longer. Willa was determined the ice cream would be the first food that we had today. It's a good choice. It smells amazing, so I have no idea how to pronounce these. But these chimney cakes are a fan favorite around here. We've seen a lot of these in Germany, but we've never got them before. So we're really excited to try it out. This one, we have pistachio cream lined on the inside. I'm salivating thinking about that. And it has nuts sprinkled on top. Some ice cream. Yeah? And strawberries filled in the middle, huh? Should we eat it? Oh, really? Do I should have some What do you think? Yeah, some strawberries. Some strawberries? You want some? Side. Not bad. This one is a little bit dry, so I'm sure if they came out like fresh, it would be a little more moist, but nice cinnamon sugar glaze on the outside. Actually, I don't even know if they have cinnamon, but it's sugar glaze for sure. It's a fun treat. Like, it's not something that I would like get every single time, but I'm glad that we're trying it out. Honestly, the best part is when you have a bite into the chimney cake and into the pistachio cream. Better than just the ice cream, in my opinion. So the further you're down, the better. What's that in your forehead? Some yeah, do you want some? Honestly, that was a great choice. Really nice. We will definitely be getting another one of those. Willa loved the ice cream. We enjoyed the pistachio. I really like the mix of everything, actually. The strawberries were really nice, fresh, bright red. We decided that the end was definitely the best part. That's where the pistachio cream melted and landed at the bottom. It got a little messy, so make sure you keep that little wrapper at the bottom of it. But other than that, worth a stop. There's definitely a lot of these. In fact, there was one store that said the best in Prague. Don't really know if that's true, but there's definitely a long line. This is a different shop just down the street from that one. They're easy to find. Make sure to try one. Tanner's washing his hands. I'm washing my hands because it was so <laughs> sticky, but that was a little pricier than what I would really think is normal. Maybe that is a lot cheaper out of the touristy areas, but that was 190 kruna, which I think is roughly eight or nine euros, dollars. So Kind of pricey for that thing, but once again, it's fun so to fun. Try. fun to try. There's probably sure. places that are a little cheaper. We're in the heat of the old town, yeah, so. so it's definitely tourist central. So Yes, and I think it's just worth noting it feels more expensive because we went out to eat yesterday in the mills. Like a full traditional Czech mill was like $8 almost, so. We know it's expensive. Compared to Germany, the Czech Republic seems to be a lot cheaper and more affordable. So quite honestly, I had no idea that this place even existed. This is the narrowest street with a traffic light. It's pedestrian traffic only. I was standing at the bottom of the stairs that lead up to the castle while Marissa was up there, and this dad and daughter from Spain actually started talking to me and asking me if I was from the area. Picked up and had a little conversation in Spanish, and they were like, hey, where's that narrow street? And I was like, I have no idea. Like, I didn't even know that it existed. So here we are. We were walking back towards the bridge, and we decided to just take a quick peek just to see what it was all about, and uh, apparently a lot a lot of people like to come here as well. I'm gonna give you all my love. Wildflower, give you every minute, every hour. Dancing, the wind, you live it whispering. Well, as you saw, 
how Willa fell asleep, so I took the opportunity upon myself to get another one. I saw someone walk with this. It has Nutella on the inside, mixed chocolate vanilla ice cream. I'm really excited. This is bigger than the last one, and we got it for $120, so cheaper, which I think is a good deal. After the castle, we've made our way to the astronomical clock tower. This square is busy happening. There's lots of fun restaurants, cafes, stores around here, and it's just really fun to see. This is the first big city that we've been to post-COVID, and things are alive and hopping. Honestly, we really enjoyed having it a little quieter, less crowds the past few months, but it's that time, right? Like, everyone's ready to go and travel. They are definitely here in Prague this weekend. morning we're excited to explore more of Prague today we're keeping it a little more low-key because Tanner's running a marathon tomorrow stay tuned for that video but we're still gonna take you along for the ride and show you what more Prague has to offer we gotta go to the metro we're in the wrong spot we gotta go downstairs oh there you go What's in your mouth, Villa? Are you chewing gum? What do you do when you're done? Okay, bye. We've made it to Petron Hill and it's absolutely beautiful. At the bottom of this hill is the funicular that you can take up to the top, get a great view of the city. We're deciding to walk right now just because it's beautiful weather and the line is like 150 people long, it seems like right now. There are lots of orchards, places to eat lunch, like benches, a playground, statues, and lots of things to see along the way. This is a very popular place today, but it's nice, especially where we're taking it a little bit slower. Before this, we did stop for lunch at Loki Burger. We didn't film any of that just because sometimes it's nice just to eat food and not film it right but the flavors were amazing the sweet potato fries were incredible that was the main reason why we went there and that's just because we typically don't eat American style food in the places that we go and travel so it just sounded like a really good thing to have today we were not disappointed it just smell that. And in your hair you see right here oops <laughs> Vamos. Vamos, chica. Well, by Willa's orders, I got demanded to come and sit down. <laughs> this is the closest thing to a date that we'll probably get on this trip. <laughs> that is true. Ten minutes at the park. <laughs> of most of our lives, honestly. <laughs> She's so funny, though. It's really fun to see her around kids. Yeah, we've loved that. We've loved having family over the last little bit. Even just to see her interact with her cousins definitely is like the con of living abroad is being away from that. But luckily, Kita fills that gap, and she's made a lot of friends through that. It's also just really nice sitting down and people People watching too. I was watching these cute grandparents with their grandkids and the grandpa literally was just like had his phone recording <laughs> straight walking around the playground. Oh yeah, I saw that too and I was like, I'm thinking more like a German now because I totally was like, oh that guy's creeping on other kids, you know. But but honestly that wasn't my first thought. Like I, I could definitely tell like it was his granddaughter. I'd seen him as well. The granddaughter but... and a grandson and it was just cute because it's like grandpa thing, like he never stopped recording. And it was just a good reminder to be like, everyone's out here just living their own lives, just like us, you know. Our travel plans aren't the most important. Our kid, yes, she's the most important to us, but like same to each of each kid and their parents. And it's just just a nice reminder. We're all the same. We're here in one spot, enjoying this nice weather and enjoying the park. Really, it's just so nice to have a slow day. When we travel, we tend to go hard and see as much as we can, taste as much as we can, 
And I mean, we definitely make pit stops for playground and stuff, but I feel like all of today, I mean, it's like 2 p.m. and we haven't done much today, but it's nice. gonna add 20 minutes to my run time. It's gonna tire me out more. I'm getting up. Here we go. <laughs> Will is happy. Good job, Dad. Oh yeah. Where are we, Riss? It says the mirror means there is a long line. Willa fell asleep in her stroller. We couldn't take it anyways because it's walking only. I decided this is the main reason we came up this hill. I'm still gonna see it. Tanner offered to stay with Willa and I'm really excited. <laughs> Letting me go. Mm -hmm. How was it? Good. Yeah. It was really fun. Really pretty views of the city. I would say better than the castle ones. I mean, it makes sense you're higher up. But that's one thing I wanted to mention. We're really close to the <laughs> yeah. castle. I think I could see it from like one of the viewpoints walking up here. So if you're gonna go to the castle, make your way over here to this hill. Just do them in the same day. We kind of made that mistake, but oh well. We're doing things our way and yeah. that's fine. So a little bit more about it is there's two levels. You can go up about midway and then go up higher. At the top, there are windows that you can open up the door so you can get an open view that doesn't have like that mirrored glass on it. There is a park up here on the top of this hill. Another great family friendly thing. And then I also saw a stadium up here on the hill too, which was fun. I'd heard a lot of great things about this city, but I'm continuously blown away. It's really cool. You've had a great time too, yeah? Yes. Except for my feet do hurt a little bit now that I sat down and I'm like, yeah, I probably did a little bit too much walking for tomorrow. No joke, that thing with a stroller is not fun. Especially when you go the wrong way and take the stroller up the stairs. But it doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure we're going to go back and just take it easy the rest of the night. Today is a big day! <laughs> ready? Are you ready? think so yeah <laughs> well as you can see today is race day for Tanner so we're gonna be ending out this video but stay tuned for the next one to see how his race goes if he doesn't die along the way no don't joke about that <laughs> that kidding. happened I mean I could see you needing to go to the bathroom on your race <laughs> yes so hopefully it's a great race honestly that's all I'm hoping for is no major accidents. injuries accidents <laughs> or you know urges to have to go to the bathroom but. So stay tuned for that, but wow, you guys, blown away by Prague. Yeah. Honestly, my first impressions couldn't have gone better. Although I know we could have explored this city in a much more organized manner, and there's still so much to see. We're actually right now in Newtown, and so like Newtown. We, we barely didn't even like walk this area at all if we did. I think we just rode past on the metro and the tram, so new Which area. Which is really easy to get around. I would highly recommend public transportation. Honestly, from the beginning of the trip, we had a lot of mishaps come our way, and so we we were just starting off kind of on the wrong foot, but we still had an amazing time. We came in with a loose itinerary, as you guys know the reason, but. Since we're so close, we're definitely gonna be back here to share more of our experience here. It's beautiful, like we said a bajillion times, but we really mean that because there's just so much to see, so many foods to try. We had several different types of foods, ethnic foods, and honestly, we were not let down by any of them. So it's always something exciting. Wow, it got really dark in here. Now you can see us. Yeah, join us for the next videos. We're really excited to show you a little bit more of our time here in Prague. See you guys. Bye.